Hello, welcome to the essay one session. In the previous session, we have learned how to use the uh, fragment. In this session, we will learn about the inline fragments. Here we are obtaining the user details. For this, we have used the uh, user field written the uh, object of the uh, type user. That's why we specified the user type in the uh, fragment. Click on the uh, docs button on the top right side. Search for the user. This user type implements those other type. RefQL types also follow the OOPS concept. Those all fields are not declared in the user type itself. Some of them are coming from the actor, profile owner, repository owner or those other types. Instead of creating the new fragment outside the query, we will use the inline fragment. For this, we need to use the uh, three dot on keyword and uh, specify the uh, type name. Let use the actor type and obtain the uh, login and uh, URL from it. Now we use the uh, profile owner type and obtain the ID and name. We can also directly use the uh, field name here like bio. Click on the execute button. Here we got the result as per our expectation. Field defined in this part only included when the data written by this field match this type. For example, if the user is a not actor type, then it won't include those login name and the URL. But here it will never occur as the user will be always an actor as well as the profile owner. Let's see what we are learning this session. The inline fragment can be added inside the query itself. Like CSA, we can create the interface and implement them as per the our requirement and specify the field based on the type of object. Stay tuned for the next session.